We're here inside the film room. We're going to talk about Geno Smith today. And I got a special treat for you, Jets Nation, because I've brought in one of the top signal callers in franchise history. Of course, that's Chad Pennington, a regular here on NewYorkJets.com. All right, we're going to look at Geno, the man who's entering his third season as quarterback of the Jets. He's going to take first team reps in training camp. Last year, here's an example of him displaying good footwork, keeping his eyes on the field, and escapability, right? Well, Eric, anytime you're evaluating a young quarterback, there are two uh, key characteristics you want to look for. First of all, you want to see, does he have the ability to escape the pocket when the pocket breaks down? And then once he escapes the pocket, can he remain a passer? Some young quarterbacks, once they escape the pocket, they become a runner. And then the NFL, you don't get paid to run as a quarterback. You get paid to pass the football. So when we go to the tape here, we can see that when Geno comes up to the line, he has a free safety defense. Right here's your free safety. He's got three linebackers, four down linemen. Okay, so he knows that it's not necessarily a blitz look. Okay, it's going to be some type of zone look probably, maybe a man look, but at least only a four-man pressure set. Once he moves into his read, you can see that the tight end and the running back are involved in the protection, which only means there's only three people in the route. You only have three wide receivers. And so some may say, well, he's holding on to the ball too long, he's not looking downfield, but Gino has already seen now that I've probably lost this route and this concept. I'm going to have to do something with my feet. He works the pocket, makes a great spin move. Now right here is the key. Number one, did he escape the pocket with his escapability? Yes. The answer to that question is yes. Number two, what is he doing with his eyes once he escapes? And the great thing about Gino right here is, as you can see, as he escapes the pocket, okay, he comes out, escapes the pocket, watch his eyes right downfield right now. They're downfield right now with pressure in his face. So that's, that's really good that now he sees, okay, I've got pressure in my face, I've escaped the pocket, there's my receiver right there. And he is able to do that. He makes the throw to Eric Decker for a big first down and big play. All right, Chad, let's move to week two. The Jets are in Green Bay. It's a third down and short. Looks to be about a third and four. What does Geno see in pre-snap? I think the first thing you recognize as a quarterback is what Geno sees here is, you see this configuration here, this does not look normal. Okay, there's a lot of moving parts within this semicircle. You have three linebacker types, DB linebacker types within the semicircle. You have a pressed corner on your inside receiver. So to him, pre-snap, he's thinking it's probably some type of pressure look. The Green Bay Packers are going to try to fire me up here on third down and four. So he recognizes that will be the first thing that he sees pre-snap. They have what we call some type of slant and go pattern, okay? The old sluggo. The old sluggo. Some people call it a train because it's only one step. So now Gino has to say in his mind, it's a pressure look. I probably am going to have a free safety defense here, okay? I need to pick a side. And so a lot of times a quarterback will say, okay, either I like the side based upon the matchup or I like the side based upon the corner's techniques. Here would be the one coaching point I would suggest to Gino. When you face an off corner, that's when you want to use the pump fake because you can see this corner's eyes are directly looking in at Gino. Okay, so you're going to have to pump fake him to get his feet stopped so that David Nelson, the wide receiver, can get around him. When you have a pressed corner, the pump fake is no good. Why? Because his eyes are focused on Eric Decker. They're not focused on Geno Smith. So where Geno could help himself here, would, if he's going to choose to go to Decker, which he does, now he needs to focus his attention on this free safety. If Geno Smith can get this free safety moved to the middle of the field. Now his throw to Eric Decker will be a little bit smoother and he doesn't have a second element to worry about when he's making the throw. So again. what does this play tell you about uh, Geno's arm strength, his arm talent? Well, the, the, the tangibles, the measurable and uh, tangibles for Geno, they're all there. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how good of a passer he actually is. He's a very accurate passer. He throws a nice tight spiral. He has good technique and good form. And so this, this is where Gino is at his best because he can make all the throws. <laughs>